What's good everyone and welcome back to another musical death block. I am of course Felix, the lead composer of Kingdoms of Arda and I am very excited today to talk about yeah, something you could consider actual news. As some of you may know, Benelord has a soundtrack. When you drag all the files into one playlist you end up with about 2 hours of music and it consists out of 364 files in total of which 337 are short battle snippets of like 10 seconds or even less to find in this dreadful document right here. Now at the moment there is not much known about Bannerlord's music and its ways other than that the tons of battle music snippets are played depending on the intensity of a battle. With the master at Bannerlord's music or soundtrack is at the moment one of our amazing programmers had the idea of yeah, simply circumventing this obstacle and providing a custom music engine for Kingdoms of Arda. There you have it, those are the news. KOA has its own music engine. But this is not the end, because I want to talk about this ridiculously awesome feature of Kingdoms of Arda. Frankly, this engine is a lot more powerful than Bannerlord's third-party system, and I can with good conscience say that KOA's soundtrack will capitalize on it. There have been a few questions about the implementation of the soundtrack, how it will all turn out in-game. This is the answer. It allows for a highly dynamic soundtrack that constantly adapts to your gameplay, without buttering the thousands of hours we put into the music. Speaking of which, each of our compositions is divided into sections, labeled with letters, say A to F. That is something I, as a composer, do either way, in a musical sense, and those sections may range from as short as 30 seconds up to a minute or beyond. They are the smallest possible building blocks and crossfade into each other dynamically. The entire tracks only really occur when you are either standing still or patrolling a small area in one and the same factor's territory. When you then, for example, cross from Rohan into Gondor, the world map music of course needs to change. Once the playing section ends, it crossfades into any random section of any Gondor world map track and yeah, this is what can be expected from the mod.
cannot end the music abruptly, sections almost always play to the end. The only exception is when a battle takes place. Here a quick fadeout gives way to section A of a battle track, and just like in Vanilla Bannerlord, the battle music then changes dynamically depending on the power ratio of the armies. Now I'll show you a rough sketch for the following scenario. The Mordor player travels through Western Rune when suddenly, for some reason, a mighty Lothlorien army appears and vastly outnumbers the player. The engine constantly checks for location dependencies and their political alignment. That allows for the unique Minas Tirith track in Minas Tirith, the Barrow Downs Cune when wandering around those areas, and it even takes territory into account. If Isengard, for example, managed to steamroll Rohan's lands and now owns all of its territories, chances that you hear Rohan music are quite low. And sometimes there will be silence, nothing but the sound of hooves and wind, until a new track starts randomly. As I said, the Kingdoms of Order music engine is quite powerful and allows us as composers to break free from the irritating approach of Vanilla Bannerlord. I just love it, and I hope you do as well. Now all we gotta do is do this amazing piece of work justice without having to care about Bannerlord's limitations. That is it for today, I am signing off, let us see what 2021 has in store for all of us. As always, I am happy about every thumbs up and comment. And if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe and ring the bell to not miss any KOA music related news. And make sure to visit the other developers channel in the description down below as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.